Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 492. As soon as I figure out myself how to solve this, I've been stuck on this for a while. This is called Deep Abyss with the goals of defeating five slugs and opening eight crates. When I can't beat this on my own, I tend to upgrade a fiend. And I did that with Temper, just because it was also part of Thor's hammer mission, a different mission I'm on. These are the fiends that it wants me to bring in. The horizontal, because it wants me to get through here. And the vertical, because it wants me to make some progress through here. But I think I will go ahead and also change my fiends. I've got Vega here. I do want three horizontals, but I think instead of Dennis, I want Whisper. I want, I want that big area bomb to help out. I could change Temper to Lapolian, but it seems like a waste since I just upgraded Temper. Um, and Temper and Dennis are equal. I did it just upgrade it. I'm going to bring him and give him a chance to shine. And so because I don't want too many that are um, not horizontal, I'm going to change Vega to Jojo. There we go. Jojo's fairly weak, but as long as I have enough reach to get from you know, one of these blocks over to here, because look at this, we've got these um, slug fences, these electrified slug fences, and I can't use a bomb that goes down this way to get these crates. I have to go through here, but my problem is balancing these two things. Now, the more bombs I get, the better off I'll be, and the further down here I can get them more quickly, the better off I'll be, because I need to break through here and make more colors on the board. So I can make longer chains so I can get more bombs. And that's what I'm going to be interested in is bomb creation. Whether it's actually, you know, going for the bombs right now or making moves that take out the wood so I can produce bombs later. Or this, which is a bit of both for me right now, trying to get that bomb meter filled. Now this area bomb is especially great if I can get to it in the very beginning. I can do this. It doesn't get me a bomb yet. This clump of green will stick together fairly well. I'm going to take this out, which is going to set the green on here, and this is when I'm going to choose to use the green, when it can have more impact on the wood. There we go. Now the yellow doesn't work well together. Let's see. That's not a bomb for me, and that's not a bomb for me. And this doesn't do much good either. I think what I'm going to do is take out this yellow, which almost gets me a bomb, and also puts the purple together a little bit more. And now the yellow is going to get me a bomb and take this out. It's a little bit of work. See, it takes more turns than I want it to. And I'm not striking that slug very soundly yet. But now I've got these bombs that are being produced. Now I'll have a better chance now I've also got this ticking time bomb that I'm starting to expose. I'm not too terribly worried about that because it'll only slime me. I want to get rid of it because right now it's just in my way. It's a huge problem for me because it's a blocker. Look at this. I'm going to go up this route. I'm going to take out this purple, and I'm going to hope that the bomb matches up with this over here. Well, it didn't. That's a pain. So I'm going to bring it down further, open this up, get this out of the way, and get to this next base here. I've got another one of these in the way, but I'll deal with that. How can I... Oh, look at this. I'm taking out that wood. That's a problem. Look at Gordon's animation, how cute that is. And I've made a bomb from him. And then I'm going to try to bring this bomb down by getting using this bomb. Now also I'm getting a good deal of points. The problem is the further I bring it down here, the fewer points I get. Um, if I bring it up here, they can get me 31,000 points, but that's because it's hitting another bomb. Only 20,000 points if I don't take out another bomb. But let's do this. Let's... Uh, no, I can't do it that way. I'm going to have to do it this way. Unless I blow it up here and take out that bomb, which 31,000 points, does it fill up any of my other meters? It probably fills up temper. But it doesn't break through here, and that's what I need, is something to break through. This is what I'm going to choose to do. It's only 18,000 points, but it does get rid of that slug. 
Now I've got this here. Can't quite use it yet. Oh, it's, it's the way this falls into place in such a funny way. It doesn't let me line up what I want to line up. I'm doing this so I can get to the red, so that I can get some points, and I can get some crates. There we go. We get all the crates. We take this out of the way. That's a blocker. And now I need to keep going for points. I do have a bomb that can help here once I get things going, but I need points. That's 10,000 points. Doesn't quite produce a bomb. Oh, 7,600 points and does not produce a bomb. Let's take a look at the yellow. Nope. No bomb production. So I think I will take this purple and ease things down here and try to get more of those purple bombs. Now look at all this red. Unfortunately, it's got three different ends to it. But I think I can get... I'll come through here. That looks good. And that gets me a bomb. And now I've got green that I can put together. And that sets off a bomb, which is beautiful because, of course, I do need to get those crates. It's 22,000 points. That's a good haul. Not quite enough to get rid of that slug. But the crates are now gone. And now I need to focus on collecting bombs or setting them off. It's 17,000 points. That's not bad. Does it get me any other bombs? No, it almost gets me a purple. If it got me another bomb, that's just the move I would take. This gets me a bomb. I'm not as worried about the ticking time bombs now because they're not in my way to reaching the crates. I've got it now, right? I boosted up my fiends, and so I'm doing better. That's 18,000 points. That's not bad for a single bomb. Not quite filling that purple yet, but maybe the yellow will help me to fill that purple. No, because of course I can't set off that. This is still in the way, just not as much of a burden as it used to be. I like this. That's 10,000 points on its own. It sets up the yellow a little bit better together. And I've got a blue bomb. A blue, a purple bomb. That's only 13,000 points. That's not a lot. Can I get another bomb in here? Yes. Okay. Let's see if this works. This should work. Well, first of all, I can take the purple bomb and just bring it down here and blow everything up. However, that only gets me 25,000 points. That would get me more. If I do the whole big thing, that would get me more. Uh, so I can beat this on this turn. Yay, finally. Um, can I do it a different way? No, I think I'm going to have to take out all three bombs. So let's just go ahead and explode it this way. We get rid of that last slug. So at first I thought I had to go for these and get rid of these right away. And it's still important. If I defeat all the slugs and I can't catch the crates, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't work. It doesn't help. But I spent, I was too focused on getting to those crates the other times. And this time I balanced it better. Plus, of course, you know, upgrading your fiends when you're stuck is a great way to try to get unstuck. And that helped me out a great deal. And I'm collecting so many of these crates, I'm building back up my resources for the next time I have to upgrade. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.